three or four days and then nip back out again because the closure was supposed to be on this stretch on the 21st. They brought it forward to the 14th and we found out only about a week ago. But we were already committed uh, halfway there, if you will. So we thought we'd run the gauntlet and just do it. So we will get trapped on the other side. The problem is that we got held up in Middlewich with really bad weather for two days. And then we've had a lot of bad weather and locks, etc, etc. So now we're really pushing it to see if we can, like pushing it at three miles an hour, to see if we can get there. And it's going to be borderline because the closure is tomorrow now. And we've kind of borderline if we're going to make it or not. I think we will make it, but it might be getting a bit dark by the time we get there. So fingers crossed. One good thing is though, all of this is amazing. So I know on the way back, we're going to take our time on the way back. I've spotted loads of places to moor. It's not busy. I don't think it'll be busy in five weeks. And this is, this is lovely. And it's been lovely the whole way down, as of the people we've been chatting to along the way. Yeah, well, fingers crossed. Got about three and a half hours till it gets dark. And I think it's going to take us about three and a half hours to get there so let's see let's see how we do This lock will be closed tomorrow and we've made it just in the nick of time because uh, it's getting dark I didn't want to come through in the dark so time to moor up and a hot shower and a beer I think I think we've earned it it's been a long day I'm soaked to the skin I was getting thoroughly well not thoroughly miserable I was getting a little bit ugh, and then uh, a fella down there called Graham I think the narrow boat was Pilgrim nice one Graham you cheered me up gave me a little lift for the uh, the final furlong well, the rain's coming back, but uh, this is awesome. Massive, massive smile on my face because, I mean, <laughs> look at this. So, weather depending, I think tomorrow or the next day, we shall be coming across here into Wales, which as I mentioned in a previous vlog is out of all the countries around the world that I've visited over the years, one I've not been to. So, but this is, I've got boyish, ridiculous grin on my face because I mean, I'm scared of heights, so I'm not gonna turn around too fast. But look at the view behind me. I mean, it's sheep, but it's sheep through arches of a railway bridge while I'm stood on a canal aqueduct bridge, uh, quite high. And this isn't even as high, I don't think, as the other one that we're going to go through. I hope it's not any higher, because even walking along this really safe path, I'm not too, too secure. Wow, amazing, amazing view. I hope it's sunny tomorrow, because this is fantastic.
my birthday today and I'm going to scare myself by going over the massive aqueduct at Ponte Silte. So uh, here we go. If you hear any noises on the camera, it's actually my knees knocking because I'm not good with heights. Uh, here it's a little bit windy, so let's see how we get on. over again to Langlock Blue. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've been on board since last March. Oh my gosh. Well, if you ask me what the view was like, I'm going to tell you. I've got no idea because there's, I didn't look. <laughs> on the way back, I'll maybe have a bit more of a look around. Terrifying. Oh my gosh. Made it. Right. I'm better now. Yeah. I don't. I'll, I'm supposed to be still on the other side of the boat to steer, but absolutely no chance I'm doing that. <laughs> no chance. We, we made it. Right. I'm not going to lie. Well, at one point across, I was going to sort of speed the boat up a little bit, and as I looked down to my left. All I could see was straight down on one side of the boat and I didn't even touch the controls. I was like, nah, this speed will be fine and let's just get across. Yeah, heights ain't my thing. Ooh. On the way back, I'll be on the other side and I um, might take a peek at the view. <laughs> second crossing of the Ponte Silte Aqueduct and because I'm on the slightly well I'm not on the drop-off side this time so maybe I'll be brave enough to admire the view so here we go I think, I think I've enjoyed, well I say enjoyed, I think this was better than going the other way. The weather's better, it's brighter, I'm not on that deep drop off side. I'm still not looking down there though, no chance. Uh, and we're nearly there, nearly across. We'll be doing this again actually in about two days with Kevin because he's coming up to visit. But I'm going to con him into driving over the other way because then he'll be on the drop off side. He says he's not scared of heights because of his old job in health and safety on offshore in the oil business. So uh, we shall put that to test. Um, and we'll see if I can con him into it. Well, the reason I'm filming the view is because there's no way I'm looking over there. <laughs> it's better this way than going the other way though, because oh, I'm yeah. on the deep. Oh, it's terrifying.
All right, well, we love it down here. As scary as the aqueduct is for me, it's a lot of fun down here and it's a beautiful place. We're gonna head over one more time now because we're gonna go and spend some time down in Clangochlan and explore the area, which will be in the next vlog. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to doing it again, even though it does terrify me. Um, again, as I mentioned in the last vlog, because of the nice feedback we keep getting about the photographs at the end, I have now set the ball rolling to get those, some of those printed into postcards. And Kevin Reimer has uh, bought five beers, so using the buy me a coffee link, which is in the description, and you've sent the address too, Kevin, so thanks very much. You'll be the first person that gets one of the postcards uh, as soon as they arrive, because they've got to be sent to my friends first, and then they get delivered to me wherever we happen, happen to be on the cut. But thanks for the IPA, mate. Mm. And for those of you wondering about Camille, you'll see her in the photographs, but she's kind of hermited in the front of the boat, working a lot. And when we've been going over the aqueduct, she's in the bow of the boat, and we didn't manage to catch any footage of that. I'll see if we can do that for the next vlog as well. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with the photographs, but thanks a lot for watching, guys.